Hello everyone, welcome to the video, the easiest way to create an issue in Jira using Postman. Let's begin. If you are on this video, most likely you are in shock of the number of fields specified in this document. Or the number of fields didn't stop you. But you still struggle in the Postman and are close to giving up. Don't worry there is an easy solution to your problem. Let's check it. Go to the Jira board UI, yes, I know that we are going to use Postman, but UI will help us a lot. Just believe me and click on the create button. When the create issue dialog will be opened. Don't do anything fancy. Just select the issue type you are interested in. And provide the name. The next step is to open the Chrome developers tools. The easiest way is to use the hotkey. But you can also right click. And select the inspect option on the menu. If this is your first time here, I'm surprised. Please leave the comment under this video if so. Don't worry we just need to click on the network tab. On that tab we can click this button to clear everything. It will simplify our life. And now, when the screen is cleared, we can click the send button. The ticket is created. And we need this first draw in the dev tools. Starts from the word issue. Click on it. We can see the URL of the API we are interested in. Perfect. Now you can click on the payload tab. Right next to the headers tab. And there you can see the request payload in a nice manner but we need just a raw information. Click on the view source tab. The body will be displayed in one line. Now we can copy it. Copy the entire body and go to the postman. The method is post and the URL is your project URL. I hope you can manage to do these basic things on your own. Most likely you struggled with the body only. You can delete the body which you have there and paste a new body generated in UI. You can click this button, beauty, to display the body in a nice way. Now everything is ready to be sent. And it is time to click the send button. There are a couple of scenarios after that click. For example, you can receive the 401 unauthorized response code with the explanation. Basic authentication with passwords is deprecated. Or you can receive the same 401 unauthorized response code with different explanations. You do not have permission to create issues in this project. If that is what happened to you, you can check another video. How to use the basic auth for Jira REST APIs in Postman. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Everybody else should receive this. 201 created, response code, and the Jira key. And if we check Jira, we can see that everything worked fine. The tickets are created. That's all on my side. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If so thumbs up, if not thumbs down. I wish you all the best.